AEW Revolution 2024 takes place at Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina, and this is the full show recap video, so watch it till the end. The show opens with a 12-man tag team match between Bang Bang Scissor Gang vs Jay Lethal, Jeff Jarrett, Private Party, Satnam Singh, and Willie Mack, and the result of this match was Bang Bang Scissor Gang won the match by pinfall with Blade Runner from Switchblade Jay White on Willie Mack. Post-match, Jay White gets on the mic and tells everyone to listen and then to throw their guns up and he talks about how great the fans in Greensboro are and hypes up tonight's card as well as the Bang Bang Scissor Gang and AEW before teasing that he might have some big business of his own to handle on March 13th. We then get a video vignette of the Bastard Pack, where he says that Tony Khan will never get rid of him because he is like a cockroach. Pack then says he will be back very soon and he will take this festering scrotum of a company into a new age and Pack then says doesn't it feel good to be alive and said he will return very soon, whether we likes or not. The next match happened between Julia Hart and Sky Blue versus Chris Statlander and Willow Nightingale, and the result of this match was Chris Statlander and Willow Nightingale won the match by pinfall with the Dr. Bomb from Nightingale on Sky Blue. The next match happened between Christian Cage vs Daniel Garcia for the AEW TNT Championship, during the match, we saw some interference by the Killswitch and Mother Wayne, but Matt Menard came to help Garcia even the odds. He blocks a slap from Mother Wayne, Killswitch comes back over to fight him and they brawl to the back, with Mother Wayne's interference and Nick Wayne, Christian hits Killswitch, and wins the match by pinfall to retain the AEW TNT Championship. The next match happened between Brian Danielson vs Eddie Kingston for the AEW NJPW ROH Continental Crown, and the result of this match was Eddie Kingston won the match by pinfall with a Tenryo powerbomb, retaining the AEW NJPW ROH Continental Crown and earning a handshake from Brian Danielson. Post-match, much hay is made of Danielson needing to shake Eddie's hand, and indeed, he puts his hand out and pulls it back when Eddie comes over, then Kingston goes to leave, Brian rushes over and pulls him back in the ring, and shakes his hand before raising it, respect finally earned. Then we saw an all-star 8-man scramble match between Wardlow vs Powerhouse Hobbs vs Lance Archer vs Chris Jericho vs Hook vs Magnus vs Dante Martin vs Brian Cage, and the result of this match was Wardlow won the match by pinfall and earned a future AEW World Championship title shot. The next match happened between Orange Cassidy vs Roderick Strong for the AEW International Championship, and the result of this match was Roderick Strong won the match by pinfall with end of heartache, becoming the new AEW International Champion. Then we saw that Kyle O'Reilly is back and he was in the ring with Roddy, Bennett, and Taven, Roddy was happy, and Mike Bennett took the literal shirt off his back to give to Kaor, who took it excitedly before putting it on Roddy's shoulder and whispering in his ear and leaves the ring. The next match happened between Blackpool Combat Club vs FTR, and the result of this match was Blackpool Combat Club won the match by referee stoppage with a body scissors sleeper from John Moxley on Dax Harwood. The next match happened between Diana Perazzo vs Tony Storm for the AEW Women's World Championship, and the result of this match was Tony Storm won the match by pinfall with Storm Zero, and retained the AEW Women's World Championship. The next match happened between Kanesuk Takashita vs Will Ospreay, a great match delivered by both men, and the result of this match was Will Ospreay won the match by pinfall with Hidden Blade. Post-match, Kyle Fletcher and Don Callis come to the ring to celebrate as Osprey gives Takashita some headpats for a job well done, then Kyle and Will embrace in the ring as we're informed they'll be having a wrestle on Dynamite. The next match happened between Hangman Adam Page vs Samoa Joe vs Shane Swerd Strickland for the AEW World Championship, and the result of this match was Samoa Joe won the match by submission with the Coquina Clutch on Hangman Adam Page and retained the AEW World Championship. In the main event of the show, we saw a tornado tag team match between Darby Allen and Sting vs Young Bucks for the AEW World Tag Team Championship, and the result of this match was Darby Allen and Sting won the match by submission with a Scorpion Deathlock from Sting on Matthew Jackson and retained the AEW World Tag Team Championship. After the match, Sting and Darby Allen celebrate together, Sting then says he won't forget this night. Sting then calls Allen the best partner he has ever had and the screen goes black before Sting can finish his promo as they are out of time and the show comes to a close.